So we're here at AMD. So who are you? I'm Sasha Marinkovic and I'm a senior manager uh, for marketing and marketing technologies. In Europe or? Uh, in worldwide, so headquarters, okay. yes. So you're the marketing manager of AMD? Yes, I am. So what are you showing in here? We are showing a, a lot of products based on the uh, uh, some of the uh, APUs, uh, accelerated processing units, that we announced earlier this year. So this year we announced the A4, A6, A8, and A10 products, and the code names for those products were Temash, Kabini, and uh, Richland. And you see the full breadth of products here. We have more than this. We just selected these. Uh, six, seven devices that we have on this table. So you said so, APU, so it means A4, A6, A8 are APUs. It's not only the low E something that's APU? Uh, it can be A series or E series. What we are showing here today is uh, mostly A series. What's the main difference between E series and A series? Uh, the A series is uh, has more performance and uh, basically it's a step up from the E series. E series is uh, uh, mostly for the entry point uh, devices, uh, notebooks and uh, as well as some of the tablets. So you don't really put E-series in, uh, oh you do actually put them in big sizes too, right? Mm -hmm. I bought one of these with the MD inside. So cheap, this very one? Cheap. No, no. Another one. It, it's very, it, it's, th there's a lot of value in this one. So uh, it, it's uh, selling at a great price point. So for example, if you look at this one that is the Acer Aspire, this one is selling starting from uh, $480. And you see that this is 15.4 uh, 15 uh, monitor with full feature keyboard and uh, a lot of great uh, features inside. So this one is uh, in particular featuring the A10 with quad core. And then there is uh, also the dual graphics. So that means that it's not only the graphics that is integrated inside the APU, but it has one additional discrete graphics card inside for the best gaming performance in the laptop. Additional, so you just add extra GPU power. And it's already in there, yes. So that's what the dual graphics means. So this one, as I said, spectacular price point at $480. That's, uh, how many USB 3s? Only one? I'll have to count, but one here. Uh, uh, there's one there. This is the USB 3, and then there is the regular USB, uh, I guess, on the side. Why can't it be only USB 3? Why, the, why, the, why is there a combination of USB 2 and USB 3 in devices? Uh, I think that's uh, just the uh, choice that the OEMs are making when they are putting together their uh, notebook or how they want to, uh, what price point they want to hit in market. It really costs more to have more USB 3s instead of USB 2, I guess. Uh, I believe it's a design decision for the OEMs. Right. Yeah. What's this one? So this one is another great laptop uh, and you can also see that this one is featuring the dual graphics, so those that uh, firing uh, power for the gamers and uh, it's uh, a beautiful notebook that has a very nice uh, cover, it's from Lenovo, it's uh, also 15.4, uh, full feature keyboard and uh, it has the DVD here. USB, I believe there is HDMI, yeah, uh, VGA, so uh, a, a lot of... Two USB 3s at least. Right. Uh, so, so how much is that one? Uh, I believe that the pricing has not been re revealed by Lenovo yet, but it is going to be shipping soon, so you're going to be able to find out. A10 or A8? Or? Uh, this one is uh, A10, yes. A10. So A10 is the new one? There was uh, only A8 before? Or? So with the new generation of products this year, we have uh, added A10 and uh, this one is for Richland uh, internal code name uh, that, that uh, turned out to be A8 and A10. Yes. A10, so that's the fastest AMD processor? No that's market. the fastest, the most powerful uh, APU that we have currently in the market, yes. And it's right here for $90. Yes, and uh, it's tremendous value that it's providing to customers. It uh, delivers it's like very a, good... Is it an AMD Ultrabook? Well, you know, we uh, allowed our, uh, our partners to market it the way they really want the customers to experience their products. So we are not putting a name on it, we are not pegging into this has to be called this certain way. Uh, but you can see that it's very thin and light, especially for a machine of this size. So this is 15.4 15, 15 inch and it's still fairly thin and it's very light. 
This is actually, these two laptops are my personal favorite because I do like bigger screen. They do allow me to put more, uh, more windows on the screen and do things in parallel. So I can be doing email uh, and having the uh, browser uh, on the side, looking at the stock prices, uh, looking at the great articles and watching the video from your so, site. So how does it compare with the uh, Intel Core i? You know, the, this one is really a, a great laptop for gaming, for video, for all the new things that people are doing. And uh, it, it does uh, provide unmatched firepower in terms of the gaming and video quality and visuals in general. It's good for video editing also? Uh, yes, uh, uh, it, it depends to how professional video editing you want, but it's great for people working on uh, uh, on their laptop and doing home videos and stuff like that. Do you have uh, technology to do fast video encoding? We do have that technology built in as well, yes. Alright, so, so is this a touch? This one is uh, a hybrid that Toshiba announced just today. So obviously the cool feature about this one is that you can unlock this one and it merges the best of both worlds. So it's a tablet when you need it to be a tablet when you want to take it with you, but it's also a fully featured notebook that you can plug in and it gives you the notebook that you can carry with you and uh, have the keyboard that is needed. So is this 600 something or how much? I don't believe the pricing has been announced yet. So we're going to have to wait a few days until uh, uh, Toshiba announces that. But it's cheaper than the Intel one. I'm not sure what the price is going to be. Okay. So uh, what is this? It's definitely going to be great value again. Great value. <laughs> Sorry about the same So uh, this is the Acer one. This one is shipping and uh, it features here the A6 Elite Mobility. It's a quad core, ultra low voltage, and you can see that uh, on the sticker here. It uh, has USB 3 and uh, it's a touch screen, as you can see. Another nice feature one about... USB 3 and one here? Uh, USB 2. Right, so there's one there and one USB 2. The nice feature about this one is also for the keyboard that is backlit. And for $400 that this one is shipping at, it's uh, another uh, product that should be highly popular with the users. And uh, I love this form factor as well as the uh, features that it has. It's much better than a net netbook. Uh, I think it doesn't even compare to the netbook how good this is. So how long is battery life? Maybe. Battery life is uh, pretty good. and. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if we have any numbers on the battery life, but uh, it, it, it's a small. Yeah, so it, it depends. Yeah. Is it selling yet or not yet? It, this one is selling. It, it's uh, shipping. Yeah. I believe that this one started shipping about a couple of months ago. That's already out of the market. Yeah, but it's been shipping for about yeah, yeah. And then another one from uh, HP, similar form factor. And uh, uh, again, uh, touchscreen, Windows 8 on it, and uh, uh, a lot of connectivity here as well. It looks like you can pull the screen off, but you can't, right? No, you can't. No. It looks like it. Yeah. All right. How much is that one? I'm not quite sure. Uh, Sarah, do you know what this one is selling for? Uh, about $400. $400. Yeah. All right. So okay. is there a big booth, an IFA, AMD booth? No, so this is uh, only for showstoppers, obviously, and uh, we are going to have a booth at EFI in Hall 15. Uh, <laughs> so, sorry, Hall 17, and you can drop by 